After what feels like forever, a vaccine is coming. But what's in the COVID vaccine? A bit of background first. All vaccines help develop immunity in basically the same way. They use parts of a virus to train your immune system, specifically the white blood cells, to recognize disease-causing agents in the body, leaving lasting immunity. Traditionally, vaccines have used either a weakened version of a live virus or a characteristic part of a virus to train white blood cells, helping them recognize what that virus looks like in the future. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine uses a similar approach, using a weakened version of a virus similar to the coronavirus, but one that poses no risk to humans. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines contain mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. mRNA is similar to DNA. It's basically a short-lived set of instructions that your body uses to make the things it needs. It's a messenger. Many living things use mRNA, and it's completely safe. In fact, without it, human life would be impossible. What's different about an mRNA vaccine? Instead of injecting parts of the virus into the body, we're just injecting the instructions on how to make those parts. And then we ask the immune system to make their own copies. We're teaching our body how to make the vaccine itself. So what's in the COVID vaccine specifically? In the COVID vaccine, we're using the instructions, or mRNA, for a very specific part of the virus, the spike protein. The way it works is that the mRNA is wrapped up in a little package and delivered into your bloodstream. This mRNA is then taken up by white blood cells, which use these instructions to make their own copies of the spike protein. Because they're just viral proteins and not attached to the actual virus, they're harmless and they won't give you COVID. But they can train the immune system to recognize the coronavirus so that if and when the real thing does come along, the immune system is ready. So what's in the COVID vaccine? mRNA or a weakened virus similar to the coronavirus that poses no risks to humans. Both are very safe, and neither one is going to give you COVID. It'll take a little while to get enough people vaccinated to stop the spread of the virus, so we're still looking at social distancing and masks for a little while longer. But hope is on the horizon, folks. That's it for this time. If you found the video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's help spread the word about these fascinating vaccines. Until next time, stay curious, and don't forget to wash your hands.